Now we have continuing coverage of the food supply right here in the Commonwealth. A request sent to Governor Bashir to get PPE to meatpacking workers has not been fulfilled. Now a fast food chain is warning of shortages in their restaurants, groceries are limiting meat purchases, and a local processing plant reported dozens of new cases. WHS 11's political editor Chris Williams has been looking into the situation. Where's the beef? The 80s commercial made legendary by that catchphrase. Hey, where's the beef? Now could be a real question by customers. The company blames COVID-19 issues for reducing the supply at some restaurants. Ryan Bridgman from Mana could not add to that regarding their Wendy's franchises, but said their diverse 275 restaurant portfolio was reacting to these changing times. Yeah, it's been really good for us, at least, to be, to be associated with the brands where we are. Um, during a crisis because leadership, you know, a crisis leadership has to step up to the table. Cattlemen have a beef with slaughterhouses. There's plenty of livestock, but coronavirus cases are creating a bottleneck disrupting the supply chain. A Louisville area plant has nearly 60 reported COVID-19 cases. It's still open, but others across the state and country have seen slowdowns and shutdowns as companies react. Um, so we're, we're continuing to have the conversation about PPE and the other requests that we've made. 11 days ago, the United Food Commercial Workers Local 227 and Ag Commissioner Ryan Quarles sent a letter requesting Governor Bashir make processing workers a priority for personal protective equipment. As of now, the only PPE in these operations is provided by companies or employees. While the union says they've talked with administration officials this morning, it's a different story over at the Department of Agriculture. As of today, we've yet to hear back from the governor's office directly about PPE testing and additional child care services for meat processing employees. However, we have talked directly with Dr. Stout about uh, coordinating efforts to address the employee safety issues at these plants. Just before four today, the governor's communications director released a statement responding to our questions, confirming the call from Dr. Stack, insisting public health is working with impacted facilities, hinting at a testing announcement that's coming and stated that the governor has talked directly about the safety of these workers. The UFCW says they're committed to the safety of their workers and they'll continue to push for PPE. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.